Hi guys, welcome back to RS Soccer Culture. As you might have seen in our previous videos, we have actually started a new biofloc shrimp farm. And you can see all the process between starting the shrimp farm and stocking of PL. So stay tuned. So welcome back guys, uh, this is actually our first farm build 2 years back As you can see it has already been running for about 2 years And you can see we are already producing uh, shrimps from this system So what we have actually decided uh, to build is a newer farm uh, So it's actually situated just right next to our current farm on the right And um, it's also fully indoor facility so you can see what we have done this year is to fully build out the farm all the way from the silver structure uh, putting in the pouring in the concrete uh, putting in all the necessary pipes for drainage and shrimp harvesting building the full HDP tanks so in our cases for the second farm we actually have not used any PVC tanks it is a full HDP setup with a central drain to remove out the water and in the center part, we have these smaller tanks which are nursery, which has also been constructed. So uh, this is to ensure that we have actually quite a good space utilization as we are able to use up the spaces in the middle to put in a smaller nursery to grow it up for another 30 days. And at the moment, uh, of course, we have actually run a few batches on these uh, new farms. And uh, you can see that we have actually stocked most of our smaller tanks with nursery. We even have a pit where we will release out all the water in which where we will harvest the shrimps and we will pump the water back. So this is actually a new feature that we have in our new farm that enables us to quickly harvest out all the plants because uh, we have quite a lot of customers at the moment. And right now we actually happily stocking most of our farms with the uh, new shrimps. So these are the PLs that we are using. These are SPF uh, PLs uh, that we've been using for the past year and we are stocking them in our nursery tanks first before it grow up um, so we are using both uh, both farms at the moment uh, for the first and the second farm uh, because to increase our production and for these newer farms we are also running it on a full rope blower system and we also use some pedal wheels to help to have a, a auxiliary system and this new rope blower is actually about 20 horsepower it's actually very big uh, and the older aeration frame that we used in the past um, because we needed a lot for this uh, newer farm we actually changes our design and this is a bit more reliable design so the old one is very difficult to take out uh, to adjust and the new one is very simple and it provides quite a lot of aeration as well so that's all for this video we hope you guys like this uh, video for our newest update for shroom farm and stay tuned and see you guys back at RS Aquaculture